please, if you're homosexual or you're bisexual, when you meet a woman, please tell her. Do not deceive a woman. Marry her and at the end of the day, you are more in love with a man. Women, I would love to know how you're going to react when you find out that the man that you've been loving is actually bisexual or homosexual. He's not even the one that is giving, he's the one bending over. Initially, we were so uncomfortable with beautiful girls with big nash. Right now, men are snatching men from us. It is a sin before God and before man. No one should be encouraged to be in such marriage or relationship. She should just give him a surprise package by living peacefully. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. I should do what? I should leave very dark man alone. I don't see anything related to very dark man on this issue. Or is very dark man gay? And I know a lot of men are bisexuals in this Lagos. What the fuck is going on? Hi guys, welcome back to Moment with Blessing See You. I'm so sorry I mixed up the story. You know, there's a lot of things on our head. So sometimes we can actually mix. So let's go to the main story of the day. So I'm going to quickly read it out because we've taken a little bit of time. The story is coming from a lady. She said, Blessing See You, I'm at the point of death. Wow. Please keep me anonymous because almost all my family and friends or relatives follow you on Instagram. I just found out that my husband is gay. Okay. He's gay. Okay. Gay like homosexual. We have three kids together and I caught him like having sexual intercourse with our so-called driver. My spirit almost left my body. At our backyard. Blessing see you. I'm in Abuja and I will fly down to Lagos to your office to see you one on one. I am dead inside. She said, I am dead inside. Our driver, I was so stupid not to have noticed the closeness. He never even scolded the driver if he comes late to work compared to the way he scolded other domestic staff. I have not spoken to him for 12 days now because I might kill him. He has been begging me not to tell our family because of, a, of their Christian background. Blessing CEO, I want out of the marriage. But what will I tell our family is the reason for our divorce. Should I go silent with my kids or disgrace him? He is a very prominent man in the society, and you know him. Maybe when I see you one-on-one, -on -one, I will tell you who he is. Blessing see you, how do I leave the marriage? It's even traumatic for the kids. They are still too young. I need urgent advice. My own husband that I knew down to suck and adore. You don't even get it, blessed see you. My darling, I get it. As we're ever talking right now, my head is spinning. Pain, 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 pain. I get it. She said, my own husband that I knew down to suck and adore. You don't even get it, blessed see you. He's the one doing the bending. Like our driver was the one fucking my husband through his anus. Ah! My God. Ah! It's disgusting. I can't even put it together in my brains. I'm running mad because I can't even speak to anybody. You are the only therapist I know. Please help me before I go mad. Okay. First of all, I think if I'm coming to the studio, I'm going to be coming with a bottle of water or a bottle of a bit of shaker because stories like this are a bit weird. I used to hear this kind of stories that we have a lot of homosexuals in Lagos, Abuja, who are married, but I don't think people who do women and do men because they have three kids are homosexuals. I think they are called bisexuals. So I think your husband is bi. He does men and he does women. Ah, where did you even catch this man now, God? Because I don't even know where to start from. First of all, like you outrightly said, I don't know how you want to put it to your kids. I don't know how traumatic it's going to be to the kids for instead of that their husband, their father, 
was sleeping. In fact, the annoying part right now is that I'm trying to picture it in my head when you said he was the one they bent. He was not even the one doing the knocking. They were bending him. Oh, lo, 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 lo. Uh, for me, if I'm going to advertise, uh, adv- ad- ad- advise you professionally, I'm going to say walk out of the marriage. A lot of celebrities have actually left their marriage. You don't need to tell people why you left. Number one, because of the kids, I feel they are still too young to go through such trauma. And I feel for the man, since you said he's a prominent man in the society, trust me, it's going to be a very disgraceful thing for him. Remember, he's still the father of your children, and you still need that source of income for him to be able to take care of the kids. Now, the question is, is it possible for you to even ask your husband why he's bisexual? Is he doing it for fun, or is he actually a homosexual man that just married to cover up? I think there are lots of questions we need to ask, but I know that emotions might not allow you answer that question. So I'm going to put the phone lines open. I would love women and the men to actually call. The number is right on the screen. And please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. Please, if you're a woman or you're a man, what do you think about the story? How should she walk away? Because I don't understand why a man should be homosexual, marry a woman, I still keep sleeping with another man. To God, it is traumatic. Gosh. So men, I would like to hear from you. And women, I would love to know how you're going to react when you find out that the man that you've been loving, the man that you think is a man, is actually bisexual or homosexual. He's not even the one that is giving. He's the one bending over. So feel free to call the number on, the, on your screen and share your opinion. As for me, I am devastated because I'm still trying to picture in my head, like, how are they bending him over? Like, how? Even me that is not the wife, I'm already traumatic. Hello, glad to see you. Hello, good evening. Hello, glad to see you. I can hear you. Go ahead. Good evening. Turn down the volume of your TV. I think we lost the caller. Please, if you're calling to contribute, turn down the volume of your TV. Today, I want to hear from men, please. Because this is very rampant in Lagos. That's the honest truth. We have a lot of homosexuals who are married, and their wife do not even know that they're homosexuals. I think we have another caller. Hello? Please turn down the volume of your TV so I can hear you. Hello? I think we lost the caller again. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. We need all your contribution. Like I was saying, if you get to find out that the man you've been married to... Hello? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, my name is uh, Abdul, and I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, sir. Good evening. You want to contribute to the story? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sir. Go ahead. Okay, my name is Abdul, and I'm calling from Abuja. And uh, I'd like to go straight and, you know, chipping in, uh, you know, talking about leaving the marriage or so. Okay. You talked about, you know, the emotional trauma and stress that the kids will go through. Yeah. And I think uh, as a therapist... What you need to do is to give this woman a window to sit down with you, talk to you heart to heart, you know, put up some questions to her and get it right. Why is this man into this, you know? Mm-hmm. Is there anything that uh, he's been, you know, going through of recent? Because you can imagine someone who has three kids now going back to act like this. So, you know, sitting with her, you know, making her talk will definitely give you a direction towards, you know, uh, the advices that are required at this moment. Mm. Thank you so very much. I'm really grateful for that. God bless you for calling. I think I really love this caller because he actually gave me a different insight. Because, you know, this thing called homosexuality, bisexuals, 
We do not even know the background of where these young men are coming from. I have lots of young friends who said they got into homosexualism from childhood, those people who went into boys' schools, those people who went to seminary schools, th some people were actually lured into this with all this school father, when you get into school, and from different pep groups. Now, the problem is, you're already married to this man. Let's know the roots of the problem. Let's know why, what, I, what is the pleasure he derived. I know it's going to be very traumatic for the woman to come and start sitting down because I feel this is something she saw. It's not like she heard. So the picture might never want to leave her head. But I think because marriage is involved and kids are involved, there are some things we have to talk about before we take a step to divorce. Let's know why this man is actually into men. But the fact of him sleeping with his driver, I don't understand. Is it that these men actually bring their girlfriends or their babes closer? Hello, I think we have another caller. Hello? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello? I can hear you, darling. Good evening. Okay. I'm Mary Ann. Okay. From Lafayette. Okay. Yeah, my insight is, uh, um, for me, I think the man should be the one answering the questions, not the woman. They should okay. sit the woman down. Sorry, the man down and ask him questions because Omo, this thing is deep. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. I agree with you. Uh, I think I like this caller. She said it's deep. Yes, she said she needs to sit the man down and ask the man some question. But in reality, do you understand the trauma? I don't even... If my husband even cheats on me with a girl, I don't even know if I'll be able to look at his face. Now, he's cheating on me with a man. Like, I don't even understand. We're talking about side chicks now. We're now looking at side babes. Like, right now, so we, we, we need to be very uncomfortable with men around our guys. I don't understand. Initially, we were so uncomfortable with beautiful girls with big yash. Right now, men are snatching men from us. Like, what the fuck is going on? So the last caller said, sit him down. I don't think that woman is going to have the mental capacity to sit him down. But honestly, in as much as the man said, don't tell my parents, it's only the parents that need to solve this issue. Yes, it's a family issue. Yes, the people need to know why you're leaving the marriage so that they don't see you as a bad person. Yes, I would come out openly and I'm going to say it. I don't even think that the children are still very young to the best of my knowledge because the internet is so wild. And my greatest anger is why the driver? Why in your house? If you want to do this dirty shit, you can take it out of your matrimonial home. Why do you need to bring your side chick to the house in the name of a driver and you're sleeping with the man right under your roof? Come on, it's so shameful. I don't even think this is forgivable to me. There are some sins for me that are very unforgivable. And this is number one. Please, if you're homosexual or you're bisexual, when you meet a woman, please tell her. There are some women that are comfortable with men that are bisexuals. Could you at least share your identity with them? The whole thing is so traumatic. Don't use a woman to cover up. I know that society do not accept gay but there are still some women that are open to bisexuals. Like, they are good. Let's have this understanding. Not deceive a woman. Marry her, and at the end of the day, you are more in love with a man. So the phone number to call is right on your screen if you want to contribute. This is very traumatic, to be very honest. Like, for me, homosexuality is a no for me. Once I found out that my husband is doing men, it is over. Because I can't even phantom it in my head. Like... <laughs> We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Pastor Promise Sydney. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead, sir. All right. My name is Pastor Promise Edwin. Okay. All right. I... I want to make a little contribution to I want to make a little contribution to the topic you raised. Okay, sir, go ahead. Uh, in regards to the issue of uh, homosexuality or bisexual, you know, it is a sin before God and before man. Mm. 
and uh, no one should be encouraged to be in such a marriage or relationship. Okay. But when it comes to the woman leaving this marriage, I think it will be very risky for her to confront the husband in regards to this very issue. She shouldn't confront him. She should find something different and say she shouldn't tell him the reason why she's looking the marriage. She shouldn't confront them. Because one thing I've known about homosexuals is that they love to keep their secrets. And once they discover you know their secret, they will want to fight you in every means. Mm. With whatever source they have, they will want to fight you. Mm. So for the sake of her life and her kids, I think she should not confront the husband. She shouldn't talk about it. She should look for a means to leave the marriage. She should tell him she's no longer interested. What are your reasons? You are cheating on me. But don't tell him you are cheating with another man. Mm. So that is my humble contribution. Thank you so God much. Bless uh, you. God bless you too. Like I actually love this pastor that called. He gave me another dimension. That's so true. A lot of men who are homosexual will do anything to hide it. And they can go as far as. So if you're that beautiful woman listening to this story, trust me, you said the man is a prominent man in society. And I don't think that man will want anybody. You know, it's a very heavy scandal for people to get to know that a prominent person, you even say, I know the person. For me to know the person, that means the person must be a popular figure, either a celebrity or something. Now, this person will do anything to save their name. So I think I love this pastor's advice. We need to look for something else that you're going to leave. Just say he cheated. Why did you leave? He cheated. Don't go about telling people about homosexuality. I know a lot of celebrities who have left their husband because their husbands are bisexuals. Yes, lots of celebrities. But it was a silent marriage. Nobody came out to say anything. But we knew that they were bisexual. So I'm going to still open up the phone lines. I think I like, you know, the advice that are coming to help the woman. If you are on the show and you're listening to the show, we are talking about homosexuality and bisexual. When you find out that you're married to a man that is bisexual, that sleeps both with a man and with a woman, is it a forgivable thing for you as a woman? Are you going to let go of the marriage or anything? We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. This is Blessing CEO Show. Yes, yeah, this is Blessing CEO. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, this moment with Blessing CEO. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Go ahead, sir. I can hear you. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you're calling... Turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. It's two moments with blessing see you. And I swear today the we have another caller. Hello. Hello? Please turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Hello, good evening, sir. Hello? Go ahead. Please turn down the volume of your TV. Go ahead, sir. I can hear Good you. Evening. Good evening. I think we lost the caller. Please, if you're calling and you want us to hear you, turn down the volume of your television. That's the only way we can hear you sound and clear. Feel free if you're just coming in or you're just tuning in to um, this station. It is DSTV Channel 189, only on Pop Central. Hello, we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Go ahead, I can hear you. Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear Hello. you. Hello. I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. I can hear you, sir. Go ahead. I think we lost the caller. Please, when you call, turn down the volume of your television. We have another caller. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? 
Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. Just turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? The call is still on. Can you hear me, guys? When you're calling, please turn down the volume of your television. Hello? I can hear you. Good evening, evening. ma'am. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening. Am I on? Yes, this is... CEO. Yes, ma'am. This is Moment of Blessing CEO. You want to All contribute right. anything? I'm calling in regard of your program. Okay, ma'am. All right. Um, my own contribution... Can you hear me? Loud and clear. My own contribution is... For me, I would advise the lady not to talk about it. She should just give him a surprising package by living peacefully. She shouldn't mm-hmm. explain herself to anybody. Okay. And I think it's safer for her. Mm. Because as for me, I can't stand it. So thank you. God bless you. God bless you, darling. And this is another beautiful lady bringing it from the same dimension with the pastor. I think there's this thing about homosexuality that a lot of men want to sleep with men but they don't want the world to know that they are sleeping with men. I think that's the denial we're living in. So we have a lot of homosexuals, bisexuals walking around, but they do not want people to know that they are homosexuals or bisexuals. We have another caller. Hello? 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 Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Go ahead. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, you want to contribute to the show? I do. I do. You said? Okay. Go ahead, sir. I said she lives very dark one. I should do what? Live very dark one alone. I should leave very dark man alone. <laughs> leave very dark man alone. You said I should leave very dark man alone. Okay, um, I think this caller is mental because I don't see anything related to very dark man on this issue. Or is very dark man gay? Is he homosexual? Oh God, this one you are saying I should leave him alone. Are you homosexual? Because I don't know what brought very dark man into this issue. Ah, uh, very dark man. I'm not holding you. I'm only talking about homosexuality. It's except if you are guilty of it. Cinderella, if the shoe fits you, wear it. This man will just call. Why you rush, cut call? I mean, want to ask you some question. I better call back. Make a give on to you back to back. Because this issue is not about very dark man. It's about homosexualism and a man who is bisexual marrying a woman who is traumatic. I don't know whether you carry very dark man into matter. You understand? If you are homosexual, be homosexual. Nobody's holding. We're only trying to say be, be able to tell the woman that, okay, this is what you're getting involved. Let it not be a shock to do my nine. This one called the time make a live very dark man. I'll be all sharing here. I'll be all begging for it. Eh? Very dark man, where there's I sell. No stress me this evening. You may not lock him up. <laughs> so it's still moment to bless and see your channel 189. Let's not get distracted. The number is still on your screen. I think we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello, blessed to see you. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Good evening. All right. It's Obina. now calling you from Potako. Okay, Obina. Nice to have you. Do you want to contribute anything to the show? Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Uh, that last, that last caller that just called. What, what concerns you with them? Very dark man. What brought them up with very dark man? My brother asked me, I don't know. <laughs> where they, where they food, like, food is Lagos. <laughs> so do you have anything you want to contribute to the woman um, concerning her husband that is bisexual? Okay, I think the caller has left. He's, he was asking me what he called very dark man. 
<laughs> you know, I don't know what's wrong with these people. When you talk about something, you just jump up, you know, I, 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 well, I, very dark man. But I, you people should never make me angry on this show before I start to enjoy your vam, 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 vam. Let him better enjoy the mosquito without his black singlet, his eyes cell, in peace. Before they bring him out on Monday, let us come and hear story. For now, let us focus on this woman who has children and has found out that her husband is bisexual. And this very dark man, no deny, say he don't give hand job. He don't give mouth job. That one, we know anybody that is getting married to that one, know that you're married, you're getting married to a full-blown bisexual. So as a man, be kono. If you're bisexual, you like man, you like woman, you are gay for pay. Because they get gay for pay. They get born homo. Please tell anybody you want to get involved. The word I've gotten so civilized that some women can actually marry you. Let it not be a shot, a shock. Let's quickly go on a break before we come back. Make I first reboot my head for this caller. We talk about very dark man. Very dark man. Homosexuality. Now, wow. In fact, at the cup, I make I go break. I go continue the story. Now, this night, me and Una. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to Moments with Blessing CEO. If you're just tuning in, tune in to channel 189 Pop Central on DSTV. Today we are talking about homosexuality and we've had lots of color who have contributed. So if you're just tuning in, let's quickly give you a recap of what the story is about. There's a married woman who caught her husband sleeping with their driver and they have three kids. Now she doesn't know how to leave the marriage because the man is saying that he doesn't want it to be out there. He's a prominent man in the society. He's been begging. And the woman is saying she wants to leave the marriage, but she doesn't know the reason that she's going to tell people that she wants to leave the marriage. So if you want to contribute, feel free to call the number right on your screen and contribute. For me, I'm devastated for the woman. I'm not going to lie. Homosexuality is a breaking point for me. I can't be dragging women with my husband. I can't be dragging men with my husband. For what now? So, and first of all, we don't even, where did this homosexuality thing come in from? Is it homosexuality or bisexual? I think we are mixing it together. This bisexual thing came in from adventure. Some people want to be adventurous. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing, darling? Hello, good evening. Good evening, I can hear you. Ah, good evening, my madam. How are you doing? What's your name and where you calling from? Oh, well, this one eh, is very, very, very deep. It shook me. It shook. <laughs> but it's not easy. I well, I would say for the sake of the kids, eh, no man should just walk in with peacefully. Mm. It's just walking with peacefully. Because, eh, hmm. Let her just walk away. No need. Because that anger will be in, on us. That thought, that thing will be in, on her head. So let her just walk away peacefully. Mm. It's not funny. Mm. Thank you so much, darling, for calling. This caller made a very good one. She said just walk away peacefully. I understand. Everybody is saying walk away peacefully. It might not be easy. But you just have to try. Because I think that's the only alternative we have right now, for you to walk away peacefully, to avoid drama and buzz booze. So we're going to be waiting for other colors. For me now, eh, reading this story, I'm depressed. Because I'm trying to put myself in the woman's shoes. All these ones, you colors are even speaking his English. By now, a eh, blood for the blue for everywhere, for all the police station, for all rich courts. Because this is, this, is, this is crazy. Please, men, if you're homosexual, you're bisexual, please open up to women. It's traumatic for us. This woman is going through a lot. Everybody's saying, be quiet, be silent, be quiet, be silent. These things are not easy. Finding out that a man you have three kids with is bisexual. And the fact is that you did not even hear, you saw. That memory will never leave your head. So feel free to call the number on your screen if you want to contribute. Homosexualism, oh my God. Wait, at this point, is it that all the callers are saying that they are not homosexual? I'm expecting one person to call and give us a little bit details about homosexuality. Because I know we have a lot of men who are homosexuals. I'm proud of it. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Good evening, sir. 
Hello. Good evening. Hello. I can hear you, so go ahead. Hello. I think we lost the caller. Um, please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your television so that we can hear you. Like I said, homosexuality. Who brought it to us? Bisexual. Who brought it to us? I would even like a homosexual to call. If you're bold enough, you can actually call anonymously. I want to know what you guys actually enjoy. Yes. What do you enjoy in sleeping with another man? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, good evening. Good evening. I can hear you. Your name and where are you calling from? Okay, my name is... Okay. Go ahead. You want to contribute? I think we lost the caller. Um, please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. I want the men to call. I want more of the men to call because it's a woman's story and she's the one going through the trauma. And I know a lot of men are bisexuals in this Lagos. All of them are suddenly not all shut up. We have another caller. Hello? I think we lost the caller. Everybody's not keeping quiet for me, holy. Nobody wants to come and talk about bisexual. Please come and tell us about bisexual. Why do you bend over? What do you enjoy? Yeah, hello. hello, good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Am I calling Blessing CEO? Yes, this is Blessing CEO, sir. Go ahead. I think we lost the caller. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. Yes, it is Moments with Blessing CEO showing in Pop Central Channel 189. At least, is it that you guys cannot recognize me? Am I looking so beautiful and so glam? <laughs> Hello, we have another Hello, caller. Good evening. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Your name and where are you calling? Hello. Me? I can hear you. My name is calling from a Okay, you want to contribute? My name is I think we lost the caller. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your radio or your television. It's actually jamming the call. We're still we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Yes. What's your name and where are you calling from, sir? Hello. I can hear you loud and clear. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Blessing, how are you? I'm wonderful, and you? I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, sir, you want to contribute to the show? I'm okay, so they are talking about... They are talking about oh, uh, they should um, they, they, the woman should go just go away peacefully, go mm -hmm. away peacefully. Mm -hmm. How about I mean, I I have a different uh, perspective. Go ahead, sir. So what I think is that. It's not a very serious case. What if what if it was a woman? Mm. So the woman the woman can forgive the woman can, can forgive the man and, and endure. What if it was a woman that the, the man caught with? So you said she should forgive her husband and endure her husband sleeping with the driver. I think the caller is gone. Okay, why did you run? Jesus Christ. He said that the woman should forgive the man. That what if it's the woman? Oga, are you bisexual? Please call back. I need to ask you some question. She should forgive the woman, the man, for sleeping with another man. If he was normal cheating of girlfriend, okay, we can say, okay, women are Delilah. A man sleeping with another man is an abomination. Like, it's disgusting. I've not even, as, as civilized 
and as exposed as I am, I've not still been able to phantom that in my head. If you're homosexual, come out straight and say you're homosexual. I know that there are some people that are born with such hormones. Yes, some people have the hormones of women. That's how they behave. You see them doing... Yes, some people have the hormones. Sometimes when you see your child acting like a girl or wanting to dress like a girl, you can start correcting them from a young age. You understand? And we have gay for pay. People that just decide to bend over and collect money, like very dark man, giving hand job and blow jobs everywhere. His own is gay for pay. People like very dark man, he's bisexual because he does men and he does women because he has told us that he has given a man a hand job. Anybody with press prick, nasty, bisexual. Anyway, we'll go visit this for Jill very soon with Pure Water. So feel free to call the number on the screen if you want to contribute to this. Hello? Turn down the volume of your television so that I can hear you. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Where are you calling from, mom? Hello, my name is Fisher. I'm calling from Akuti. Okay, you want to contribute to the show? Yeah, I want to contribute. Please go ahead. Okay, um, first of all, um, I really want to appreciate your thing. Like your toughness. I like the fact that um, you put you down. For me, I'm going to be fun. All my days now, when I listen to the CEO, I get excited. And <laughs> so um, my contribution concerning this, um, for God being um, a very crucial part, uh, you know, the wife, the wife, the wife. I'm going to try. Um, I can't even hear what he's saying. I can't even hear what he's saying. What was he saying? I don't know what he means here. It could be good. Do, do, do. Please, if you're calling, turn on the volume of your television. It's still DSTV channel 189. You can see I'm slanting because of this story. It's not because I cannot sit on in my air. And some kind of story we hear, it can well boozy. Even me, there's a relationship therapy at this point. I need therapy because my, my I won't sleep this night because I'll be trying to imagine. In fact, when I get home, I go first look my boyfriend. Okay? You get driver alpha. In fact, this story is going to mess with a lot of women's mental health because even me, like the therapy, yeah. my head is already spinning. We have another Hello? caller. Hello? You get driver alpha. Come on. Talk. Hello. Hello. Am Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. This is Moment to Blessing to see you. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Go ahead, sir. I can hear you. Oh, okay. I I won't ask you this question, please. Okay. Don't be angry, yeah? No problem. It's, it's really, really disgusting for a man to get down with another man. It's extremely disgusting. Like, it's yeah. nothing to condone. And I don't think any woman should take it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you must pick up, you need to take your kids and run. It's unhealthy. Physically, psychologically, and spiritually. Mm. But I want to ask you a question. What about in the case of a man catching his wife with another woman? What is that supposed to be called? What should the man do? If a man catches his wife with another woman, he's bisexual. That's lesbianism. <laughs> but the truth about it is a lot of men love lesbians. Some men will tell you that they prefer their wife to cheat with another woman than to cheat with a man because of ego. So it's the man's choice, it's an entire choice for him. But some men, a lot of men, I'm going to say 70% of these men actually love it. You will see some men tell you, come with your friends, they enjoy threesome, two girls. So it's depending on the person. If you catch your wife with another woman and you know you can't deal with you, you let it go. But it's very rare from the stories I've heard as a relationship therapist for uh, uh, a man to catch his wife with another woman and divorce her. In fact, a lot of men actually enjoy that fantasy. So I think it's depending on the man and his um, way of life and discipline. Have I answered your question? 
Okay, I think we have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Ma. What's your name and where are you calling from? I was going to give me Cynthia. Go ahead. Uh, something about. Go ahead. I think we lost the caller. Please turn down the volume of your TV if you're calling so that we can hear you. We are just talking about homosexualism and the dissent. Please, if you're homosexual, please tell the people. In fact, if you're homosexual, just relocate to the country where homosexual is being practiced. And sometimes I want to phantom it in my head. We have a caller. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Good I evening, sir. Earlier. Can you hear me properly? Loud and clear, sir. Oh, okay. Like, with what you just said, I just feel like you are outrightly encouraging lesbianism, which is wrong. It's as much disgusting as it is for a man to get down with another man and a woman to get down with another woman. They are both unhealthy acts. The Bible condemns both of them. The society condemns as Nigeria as we live in, compare and see both of them as being against the law. So what you, with what you just said, now what I gather is you feel that, oh, okay, yeah, because, I mean, as a man, women turn you on. So it's quite normal than seeing two nude women who always turn a man on. So that's enough reason for you to feel it's okay for a man to condole his wife having sex with another woman. I mean, I'm homophobic. I wouldn't lie. I'm not trying to defend anybody here, but I'm, I'm so just sorry. saying, with what you just said, wow. I'm so sorry. I think you misunderstood me. I did not encourage lesbianism. That's, no, that's you misunderstood right. me. Really, no, I didn't. I don't get that. What are you trying to do right now? Okay, I think we lost the caller. Let me, let me say something. I didn't encourage lesbianism. I'm not a lesbian myself. I only said very few men will actually divorce their wife if they find their wife with another woman. A lot of men even prefer their wives to cheat with a woman than a man because of ego. I did not say lesbianism was right or not. But I'm saying a lot of men, you barely see a man throw his wife out just because she's a lesbian. But a man will kick you out once you sleep with another man. I am not encouraging it. I'm only trying to say some men like it. It is their fantasy. It is their fetish. I know a lot of couples that they bring women, they sleep with their husband, they have threesomes, they have OG. That's what I mean. And sometimes I ask a lot of men why they enjoy that. They say because a woman's body is soft. There is boobs to touch. Have you ever watched a lesbian movie before? Trust me as a man, when you see two women going down, you're going to be turned on. I'm not a lesbian. Please, oh, don't judge me, yo. Oh. I'm just saying... Because a woman's body is more soft. It's th there are lots of places to touch. So a lot of men feel it's more sexually appealing. But for men, their body's strong with muscle. Where you want to start from? Anyway, we are not encouraging homosexualism or lesbianism. We are only saying, which one can you condone? Everybody have a part. To me, it's unforgivable. For me as a woman, if I catch my husband with another man... I'm done with the marriage. So first of all, I always tell people, you have to know your weaknesses and you have to know your strengths. So if you're a woman and you can forgive your husband and cover him up, I know a lot of women that their husbands are homosexuals, bisexuals. They are still married today and they're still covering their husband up, maybe because of some certain benefits. I don't know. So, but if you cannot condole it, I prefer you walk away quietly because of your life, because of the sake of your children, Remember, children do not listen to what you tell them. They listen to what they see. So I just feel taking your children away from that environment is going to save them from a lot. We have a caller. Hello. 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 Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. I can hear you. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. I'm calling from Abudu. 
Okay, sir, please be audible and you want to contribute to the show? Hello? Go ahead, sir. You want to contribute to the show? Mm, right now, from the you know, I'm watching my dear TV. I'm watching the people because it has talk to me. Okay. Now. But I cannot see you now. Go ahead, I can hear you. So, it's not good for a man or a woman to make love. A man and a man, a man to make love is a taboo. Mm. So, it's not good for a man or a woman to make love. Sir, please turn down the volume of your TV. He said it's not good for a man and a man to make love is a taboo. He's even saying taboo is an abomination. That's just the honest truth. It's an abomination. That was one scene that made God burn down Sodom and Gomorrah. Lesbianism, homosexualism, all the lesbians. I don't even know what you people enjoy. As sweet as a woman's body is. Eh? As a man, you have not finished licking plate. Do you know how sweet it is when you're sucking, licking all the juicy parts of a woman? Nayash, now you won't come go put prick. Do you know how sweet and warm a woman's body is when you penetrate? Ah, it's not just that. Do you know the recreation, the beautiful children that you bring to this world when you penetrate a woman? What did they do with man? God said, go to the world and multiply. It is Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. So stop homosexuality. Me, I'm me, I'm homophobic. I be homophobic. If you are a man and you are bisexual, or home, and you come near me, I swear to God, I will drag you to heaven. Hellfire. Unga doggy vam vam vam. So if you know you are homosexual or bisexual, go and look at who you are bisexualing with you. But let's be honest before we round up. As a man and as a woman, I believe your sexuality is supposed to be private. These are not the things that you're supposed to do openly. For the man, if you wanted to sleep with your driver, not in your matrimonial home, because you've been doing it. And the reason why your wife caught you was because you had to, your bola, you could not wait to, you don't do that. You know, let's call a spade a spade. The punishment for all this rubbish, the consequences is hiding. So you should be able to hide all these nonsense things that you're doing. If you're a homosexual person, you're bisexual, you already know that the society condemns it. Hide it, bury it, take it to your grave. I'm going to see you guys next time. Same station, same time. 10 p.m. Channel 189 Moments with Blessing. See you. I hope you learned something from this program. And for women, please shine your eye. Shine your eye. Abuja men and Lagos men are homosexual. They, they bend yash. They call it gay for pay. So when your boyfriend run the waka, they find money. Know where the source is coming from. And remember, like I told you, the gays are not the cross dresser. The gays are the ones that have full chest. All those are our gym instructor. Now then they bend yash. See, I see you guys next time. Same station, same time. It's moments with blessing CEO. Signing out. I go see carry this single give very dark man for prison. I've been a sewage. Pure water and then bread with beans. I'll see him tomorrow. Signing out. Oh, wow.